Hi everybody, so today we'll see a game when I will try to explain how to carry with Kha'Zix because it's, um, it was used to play it a lot and now actually nobody play him anymore except sometimes in jungle but it's still very strong character in some matchup actually his W isn't that strong that he used to be but his Q is really powerful so we'll see how to use it as much as possible and as efficiently as possible to carry the game so the matchup will be versus Atrox, it's a melee matchup, that's why it's better to take Kha'Zix uh, against some ranges character, I don't actually really know how to play him, because even by maxing uh, the W, it's hard for me. But with uh, the Q, it's not that hard because you have more range, more auto shot range with it, than your opponent. Uh, so, versus Atrox, it will be hard on the first level because Atrox can push the lane very easily with uh, his E. And as long as he will push, he will obtain higher levels than you. So with higher level, you can't really fight. You just can harass your opponent and try to just make him lose a lot of HP to burst him later. Uh, so in jungle, we will have um, uh, Zack against Shivana. Uh, Zack has more CC and even on the first levels, but Shivana is faster to win the jungle. Actually, I guess that she will be first on the top lane. Let's just change everything. Okay, in the middle lane it will be K versus Ziggs. Um, normal matchup, not that hard, I guess, for both. But we have Kale advantage uh, with our team. The advantage that will allow me to go in melee and maybe survive to everything if she ults me correctly. We'll see if that will happen or not. Uh, Twitch AD carry, it's extra miller to see Twitch those day, but he's still strong, very strong. Mm, Annie. Annie will be very nice to engage him fight, as you know, with Flash and Ultimate. Uh, if she can stun at least two or three people, it would be really awesome for us. Okay, we got Invade, it's not that important, actually. Uh, first off, I begin with the Rejuvenation Beads and one ward and five pots. Why? Because I will build as fast as possible uh, the Hydra. The Hydra will help me to have really good burst and uh, if the enemy is... Uh, uh, sorry. If the enemy is isolated, I will very have a lot of damages just with Q and usually in a trade you can put one or two Q. So it would be very fun if I can put Hydra too. Look. Every time I'm in range, I'm trying to put Q. Actually, as I said, he will push faster than me because of his E, and that will be my problem. But as long as I can push him, with, as I can harass him with my Q as much as possible when he's in range, and he can't trade me, look, every time I just do one Q, uh, he, can, he can't hit me, he can't trade, because I have more range than him. You know, the Q range is like almost 200, and the Atrox auto shot range is like 125. So I have just this advantage, but the problem is that he will push the lane, he will get his level faster than me, look, actually he is level 2, but he was before me, and he has like 6 CS with him, so I can't fight him, I can't even trade him, just try to harass with the Q. It's very important Kha'Zix mechanics, and you will have to use it as much as possible, because with it you will be able to down your opponent's life, and then maybe burst him later. Actually, I don't know where is he, so just maybe he's just warding because with the timing, actually, most of junglers can gank at like 3 minutes and 10 seconds or 3 minutes and 20 seconds, something like that. You have to remember to remind it and then ward um, as you can, like that. You know, you see, every time he come to do something, I go to harass him just with Q, no more. I didn't see Shivana first when she was fighting Zack here, so I have to flash, it's a big mistake for me. But it's okay, we still can trade. I lost really a lot of mana because of my W that I failed two times. Uh, it's better for me maybe to don't use it. Zack is still there. Actually, it's not very good for me because he's just st stealing some XP. And I need really XP to fight my opponent. I guess that Zack should just have go to take uh, his golems to reach maybe higher level, almost level 4. Because actually, just stole some XP to me and Shivana took the golem, I guess. That's a very big problem for Zack because we'll be late on Shivana and it's not good for us. So they have three kills, <laughs> really bad for us actually. Lucian, Lucian got two and Ziggs one, but it's okay. I remember that during this game my team was just flaming each other, so 
I muted everybody. Okay, Kha'Zix jumped on me. So he's, he's already tied now. As long as he's, he's already tied, I just burst him. I don't have to do anything else. And Zach come to take the, the kill. Because as you can see, uh, Atrox gets the level faster than me. He was level 4. So I actually don't do anything more. As long as I destroy him, his passive with Zach, of course, uh, I will be able to kill him later. It will be very easier for me. So next item will be, of course, Longsword and Doran Blade. Both are for the burst because I will try to burst Kazig uh, at Rock, sorry, as much as possible. As long as as he doesn't have ult uh, passive anymore, I can kill him very fast. And if I dodge his Q and I'm able to put him some of my Q isolated, he will die very instantly. And that will be my aim this game. It's to feed me as much as possible, then kill opponent. Wait, we'll come back on this action. Look, he will just come from here, and he will be isolated for like one or two seconds, no more. But I know that I have more burst than him. Isolated, I jump on him. Look, his HP. That done very fast. And I know that if he tries to escape, it will be on this way. So as long as I don't have my QCD, I move on this way. So he doesn't, he doesn't have any place to escape anymore. If you know that you can win a fight, try to go on the escape way of your opponent. That will help you because if I would have stayed there, he could just have Q on this way and I could not have killed him because I jumped on him with my E here. That's very important mechanics, it's basic mechanics, but you always have to remind it. After one kill, I just push the lanes and I will back. I'm level 6, so I max my Q. Why? Because by maxing Q, I will have more damages, of course, and then will up my auto shot range. Normally, uh, most of melee carry have like 125 auto shot range, except Javan 4, uh, Wukong, Xin Zhao, and oh, yes, you too now, and Kha'Zix with Q maxed. Because when you max Q, that gives you like uh, 50. Uh, yeah, 50 range more. Maybe it looks not important, but it is for the lane. As it's as important as the Q range. It's stupid because as long as you can deal damage without trading, you can win a fight. You can harass and then win later. So actually, I just booked the Vampiric Scepter, one more long throat, so and more sustain for me. It's just 1080, but 1080 by 1080, it will be nice. And as long as Atrox got really good sustain compared to me, it's very important for me to have possibility to stay under turret if necessary and be healed. He's not on the lane anymore. So oh, when I see him, look, I will just go and arrest him because I will have very good advantage. He doesn't have any passive, so I just can fight him. Look, I. Actually, I don't play Kha'Zix that well because of one thing. I don't use the passive enough. The passive is that when you go in bush, when the next auto shot will deal more damages, and uh, it's just stupid. When the when you become invisible with your ultimate or by going in bush, the next auto shot will deal more damages and will slow the opponent. So when you are Kha'Zix and you are playing on lane, it could be nice. I mean, it's easier after level six because of the range to go on the, to go in the bush as much as possible. It's like Q auto shot bush, Q auto shot bush, just to harass. But actually in, in fights versus satrox I don't need it because I can just burst him in one way and kill him. He will have his passive for next fight and uh, I will fail I guess the next fight here. I remember it because I didn't calculate how many HP will regen on it. So as you can see every time I come back on the lane I'm trying to take golems. Because that, would, that gives me some XP and some gold. And as long as the lane is pushed, it would be stupid for me to go there. Because I can be very easy to gank. So I just take Golem and then when I come back to my lane, I will have like 10 or 15 creeps under my turret. I will be safe to take it. And that's not nice actually. I just check the bush. Oh yeah, I took the red trinket. Because with my starter, you know, with the rod, I can take it. So it's very nice to have more po vision power compared to, me, to my opponent. Here I assumed that I could try to fight him, but I can't, because of his ultimate and his passive. I failed this fight and I took a lot of damages. And then here, with um, his isolated passive, I assumed that I could kill him, but no, because I did not expect that he would regen that much HP. I failed this calculate and that killed me. And because of it, I will lost like 15 or 20 creeps, XP and gold, and he is still alive. But for the next fight, it will be fine for me. It will be nice because he will not have his passive. And that's the most important point when you fight Atrox. As long as he doesn't have passive, you can win a fight very easily. Way. And actually, this fight, I could have won it. If I just have waited on my, under my turret to regen some HP and then fight him later. 
So it will go them, of course. I will just take the little one to take it later. We are at the same level and I have just some creeps advantage. But it's not that good for me. I will just try to make him lots, lots, uh, some creeps, some XP. So I'm just waiting for the lane, I freeze it. Actually, he lost one big CS and it's important. I know that he doesn't have passive anymore and look, his bar isn't stacked. So he has very low attack speed. As long as he have low attack speed, he has, sorry, uh, I can kill him. Because I'm faster than him, as long as I can jump on him, I will deal a lot of damages. Because he doesn't have any tanky stuff and it's very f nice for me. That means I, I can kill him as much as I want to. He should have taken the Sunfire Cape, of course, but he didn't. And actually, I'm, I'm like Atrox. When I even when I'm when I'm losing the lane, I prefer to take just damage stuff because with tank itself the game is not that fun. It's I don't know. It's like even if you fail, you can win, and it's it's bad for me. But he did one mistake. He came uh, on the lane without any passive bar, so with low attack speed, and I jumped on him. And even after his Q, because I had my two ultimate, and remember that ultimate give you passive bonus damages and. Movement speed bonus. So even if he Q out, I can kill him as I did. Okay, now I have the Hydra that will give me very good burst because even if I put just one Q and one auto shot with passive and I drop proc, I can really deal a lot of damages and that's awful for him. I have actually 20 more CS than him and he can't even trade me, even between creeps. Look, I go in the bush so I will have my passive again, then I fight him and jump just for the damages. And I can chase him with my ultimate. That's why the, the ultimate is very really nice because of it. Because of the movement speed that will give you. It has a lot of usage. Actually, the first one is to be invisible. That will give you uh, bonus sustain. Why? Because if the opponent can see you, he can't burst you anymore. So you can do it during some cities. And the other good things is because of the, the passives that it gives you. Okay, now look, Shivana is trying to chase me. And I know that I can't fight her actually. But if she's isolated, I will deal her a lot of damages. So I will just regen some HP on the golems with the Hydra and the W. Remember that when you kill golems, when you kill those creeps, remember HP too. So look, I will have my W and my Q. And she, her, her W is down. We will come back to see what Shivana did. Okay. So I regen some HP, not important. But Shivana, she wasted her W. So after it, she can't fight me anymore because she doesn't have enough damages, but I have, so I jump on her with everything. Maybe the ignite was an overkill, but I took two kills at least, on Aitrox first and then on Shivana. Remember when you are doing something like Shivana did, don't use the main spell to farm, because if you use it, your opponent can kill you, it's Kha'Zix, I mean. When she's isolated like that, I have big bursts on her, and she didn't have her W, I had everything. That's why I could kill her. Just try to do some moves like that. With some moves like that, actually, that means Shivana spend a lot of time top, and as long as she's top, she's not on other lane. So my l my other laner, I mean mid lane and bot lane, are fine. She they don't they don't risk anything. Actually, they shouldn't die. Shit happens. I'm not here to blame my mates. I'm here to try to carry the game. So I'm focus. I'm focusing myself on my top lane, and then after when I will actually destroy the the uh, Atrox turret, I will be able to move more and then to try to help my team to carry. But actually killing Shivana made her uh, waste a lot of time top was a good thing. Atrox is there and I know that I can kill him because he can't escape anymore. As you can see, I still have one ultimate and with my range, look the range, it's just awful. As I told you, by maxing Q you have very um, awesome range and it's very nice just for the Q and for the auto shot. Because of it, I could, I'm able to kill Atrox. Don't forget to take boots, and actually that gives me good advantage. Because with my ult and the boots, I'm able to chase him. Because he doesn't have it. It's stupid, but boots are really awesome sometimes. We'll take the turret as fast as possible. Why? Just come back here. Why don't I kill the turret? Because if I kill him, if I kill the turret, it will be stupid, because some creep will stay alive. Try to let the turret kill as much creep as possible. I did like two auto shot too much on the turret. Here I saw uh, Atrox and Ziggs, so I know that I can't I can't take the blue buff. It's hard for me to take fight one versus two. Shivana is there too, so I would just go behind and maybe try to do one W. We never know. If I could have taken it, why not? Then I would go on the mid lane to take 
as much farm as possible. Actually, even if you are late on a game, as long as you can take farm, but really many farms, maybe you will be able to have enough stuff to kill your opponent, to have enough damages. And that's a really important point for me. Okay, ah oui, as second, uh, I maxed my E. Why? Because of the reset. And during team fight, reset will be really helpful. Uh, if you calculate your what you will do, your moves, wi your with anticipation, you will be able to do something. Here, I see a trucks. Okay, I will jump on him. He will have to waste his Q. I have nothing to chase him more. But actually, he is useless. He can't even fight because he has no passive and he has very low HP. So he can't even help his team. Even just a little move like that is very useful for your team. And as you can see, we were like uh, 7 kills behind and now we are fine. We have one more kill and we have the same gold. It's very important to come back in the game like that. W one by one with some kills, with some moves and with just farm. No, we have one, 1000 gold more. Nice. I took so the Brutalizer for one reason because it will help me to kill the Clarice faster. And that gave me some reduction CD and it's very nice because I can spam my Q and do some moves. Here we can see that Atrox tried to do my to do the jungle. Okay, but I can chase him because of my ultimate and because of my passive. As you can see here, I waste my two ultimates just to put him the W and the W with passive sno snared him with it and my flash I was able to kill him. It's really nice, because actually Atrox is really useless. He is not tanky, uh, he doesn't have, never, he has never his passive, because I always kill him. It's nice. I see Kha'Zix on the mid lane, so I will try to kill him. Maybe he will escape, but I have to move, I don't have anything else to do. I, wa I waited for him to waste his W and did it. Did. So I, I, here, I just have to follow him, and with my range, my damages, I'm able to kill him very fast. As you can see, just because I was fed on my lane. So. Even if your team has hard moment, you must be focused on your own lane, don't flame your mates and just try to feed you as much as possible. If you are fed, even if you face someone who is fed, actually uh, Ziggs was 5-2, it's really nice for him, but I was fed too, so I was able to kill him. Try to remember this, don't say, yeah, you failed, the game is lost, never surrender the game. Sometimes games are worse than this one, but we can always come back in one game because it's solo queue and you never know what can happen in solo queue. It's very important to remember this. Let's see what to do. On the mid lane, something happened, so I will move to see what my team can do. But Kale moved a bit too much here. I will just try to do damages and here, I have bad things. I wanted to jump on Lucian and Blitz just bumped me during my jump. I was <laughs> pissed because of it. But shit happens, actually they take good advantages on us and it's really hard for us. So even I guess that um, Twitch was able to kill uh, to kill Atrox because he doesn't have any passive and he has he was middle life without any Q, he just wasted it. It's okay. Twitch should have tried to do something, but he didn't. Why not? Actually we still have gold advantage but not that much and it's not that good for us. I will. I take the 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 Shin. It's stupid, but I always play my car just full damages, so I will build uh, the Triforce for one thing because I need mana. It's stupid, but when I try to burst one person, I'm always out of mana after, and I want to do not one fight, but maybe two or three fight after. And it's a good item because you will have a lot of procs of Triforce with your crew, which has low CD. And I took the Home Guard boost. For me, it's one of the best item of the season three. Because of it, you are able to to defend your base. You know, when you are trying to protect your red, after each creep wave, you can back and come back in time because of the home guard. And a very important mechanic, you have to remind it. Okay, here I see Lucian on top lane. Maybe he has some war, but maybe not. So I would just try to go here. And okay, I saw him go here, but maybe if he backed, I'm fucked. Actually, I'm just trying to have luck, and it works. Sometimes just try it it's stupid but you need more even with his dash with my ultimate i'm able to kill him and actually he has good score he was six to seven it's nice score for ad carry he had like yeah almost nine thousand gold so a lot of stuff he deals a lot of damages so as long as i kill him it will not be a problem for my team and i can regen on the creeps thanks to my hydra hydra sorry then i will be soon level 16 and with the level 16 i will be able to upgrade my ultimate. 
Why my ultimate and not my spikes? Because my spikes isn't the base of my gameplay. It will be not that useful in team fight because you will just use it once, maybe twice, no more. But with the ultimate, you will be able to become invisible one more time. And as long as you are invisible, you can remember that you will have passive proc, so more damages actually, which is nice. And you will be, you will take less damages because when you are oh, okay, see this move. I will speak after. I see that Blitz wants to come to me, so I don't have any choice. I must fight him. And thanks of the Hydra, look. Because of my regen of wi and with the Hydra and my damages, I'm able to kill him. As long as you know you can't escape, try to fight, you have to do it. If you can't escape, your only ch chance to do something, even if you die, you will make them lo lost a lot of HP. So just fight, it's very important. As, as I was saying, uh, when you will upgrade your ultimate, you will, ha you will have um, like a bonus armor, you will take 40% less damages and it's very important because you will do it three times in the same fight that can help you to be invisible so take less damages from a uh, damage uh, be invisible so have passive proc one more time more damages and actually it's uh, yeah it's more than 150 it's awesome and as long as you're invisible you can't be targeted so you must run in team fight do damages then ultimate to be like Untargetable, then go back in team fight, and you can do it three times. Okay, here I wanted to try to have one, one, uh, sorry, one assist. I didn't get it. Why not? I will just take the race because they are here, and then back. I need it. I need a lot of HP. So actually, I have good score because of what? Because I forget that my team was flaming, and I was trying just to do my job on my lane. And by killing a lot at rocks, I get fed. I could, I was able to kill uh, later Shivana, and then Ziggs one time. And Lucian after, because Lucian I don't know why he didn't back. As long as your opponent do uh, some mistakes, you must be able to take those mistakes and use it. You, Lucian was there, that's why I was waiting in the bush. But actually he, reco he backed and he was right. But I had to stay here. We never know, if he wanted to push more I could have killed him. So actually I have my Shin, I have... Uh, okay, almost my Trifors, because Shin and uh, 2500 gold is Triforce. So I'll just take some farms on the bot lane because you know my team is in the mid lane so I don't have anything to do with them. They are pushing. Three of my opponents are here. I'm fine. I can't escape because I'm Kha'Zix. I have jump and I have three teammates. Which is nice for me. I don't even need to use my flash. Why not? But I will need to use it later. As you will see, Blitz is chasing me hard. So I prefer to flash out and survive of it. They are chasing us for a really long time and I don't really know why. The it's stupid for them because now our team will be there soon and we will be able to take the fight see Kyle is there I wasn't sure to go to team fight because I didn't know if Kyle would ult me so we'll just try to get killed I can't go in because I don't have any escape I use my jump after blitz grab I don't have my ultimate so I can't really rush it I must wait my mate to be in front of me if I had rushed the fight I maybe would have died in it Annie did a good move here. We are now able to kill Atrox. I don't even get assist, but it's okay. We took one kill. It's a team game. And it's very nice for us. And I will be able to take my Triforce later. And with the Triforce, it will be awesome because of it. I will be able to chase more. And I will have more move speed with Fast Proc, with Zeal. Nobody will, will be able to escape from me. And it's still a good thing. I would take the red buff because nobody take it as much as you can. Take the take the opponent's buff and time it. Timing are, re are really really important. For remembrance, uh, dragons is six minutes, baron is seven minutes, and red and blue buff are five minutes. You have to time everything as much as you can because if you have timer, you you can say your team, okay, let's be there in five minutes. Maybe they will be there. We can take a kill. If we don't take a kill, we'll be able to take just a buff. Uh, here Atrox can't escape anymore because he have bad position. I will follow him with my jump. As you can see I waited for my jump CD because I know that he can't do anything now. He would die. One more kill for me which is nice. I have my try first. I have a lot of damages and my next item will be the last whisper for the armor penetration and to be able to kill more and more. Because actually uh, Ziggs has some armor. It's not that much but Ziggs and Shivana could be really annoying for me. And 
with the armor penetration and just uh, the AD, it's 40 AD. I would be, I would do deal a lot of damages. It's really, actually, it's awful when I do just one Q on isolated opponent. It's more than, uh, wow, more than 700 damages, almost 800, uh, which means for the exit like half of his HP, <laughs> something like that. Okay, here, team fight. Wait, let's go back and see what will happen. So we took the Baron, which will give us HP region, and there. Ziggs is a bit too close of the turret, and because of it, he will have some trouble. He will escape, but Atrox goes in without any passive. It's a stupid move, he should, un he should un not have done it. We'll take some damages from Ziggs, but with Baron, we'll have a lot of HP region, which is nice for us. I don't know why Kale wasted our ultimate, but why not? And here, I want to do a move, I want to kill someone. But I can because he's far of me. Kyle flashing, okay. For me it would be his moment to do something because I see Lucian here. It's free food for me, I can kill him very fast. Kill Lucian first, then Blitz is isolated. But I will let, you know, I was tanking turret and I don't want to tank it. Let's take a second kill on Blitz. As you can see, I always use jump, invisible, jump, invisible. Here with Ignite, he would have been die anyway. I don't know why, uh, why Zack chase like that but it was stupid with just ignite it was enough here i can't even help me help him because uh shivana actually is too tanky for me and she's not isolated so i will not deal any of damages we're just able to take the turret maybe any better because i have four days and it's okay actually it's nice for us we don't need more shivana is moving a bit too much for me and she will take just the q you will see after at the end of the game i will do one funny move just because of my QCD that I calculate. You need to calculate most of your CD because that will help you to do some moves, some plays, which which are carrying the game. Okay, now I have my last whisper. I have uh, <laughs> 566 uh, AD and it's really nice. Look at the damages that I do on the golems. It's really stupid, but and it's just some creeps. Why not? But imagine on player. I have my Q uh, every two Okay, almost 3 seconds, so during a fight, I can just Q, invisible, and Q again. Imagine the mages, with the Triforce perk and auto shot after. My team was doing the Drake, uh, and my team get pushed and can't do anything, so I'm able to just push my top lane. I wasn't supposed to move here, but then my team is trying to take the fight, and he's flashing in, and she's right, because they would, they would take a free kill on this, which is nice. For me, I would just take the top turret. I don't have to do anything with my team. They are stronger and enough without me to do the fight. So I would just push. And now, because thanks to my push, we can take a new turret and a new inhibitor. Which is nice. We have good and advantageous this game. But the early game was very bad for us. For the team, I mean. Not especially for me. But then, no. We, we took advantages by taking some kills one by one. Every kill is nice. Okay, here I want to do something. I want to do a move. And I know that I can like instant kill Lucian and some kill Blitzcrank. So I will try to do something and it will be the end of the game. So let's see this move. Uh, I have blue buff. And thanks to blue buff I have very low cooldown. And here Blitz is isolated. It's the only one isolated. Okay, now he is with Lucian. So I can't jump on him anymore and instant kill him. But as I'm waiting for the good moment to see them isolated. Because of the bonuses damage, I will be able to do a lot of kills and escape. Look, they are free for me. I want my passive proc, so I ultimate first. Then jump on bleed, kill him. With, you see, auto shot, Q, auto shot with proc, and the W. Okay, no, he wants to fight, Lucian. He come on me, and I have my jump reset, and still one ultimate. So look, ultimate to have passive proc. Dodge the Lucian W, jump on him for the damages, kill him with Hydra, look, flash, kill him because I have jump reset, dodge the, dodge the Ziggs boom, it's very important, or oh, I would have been dead, and now it will be fun. Because Shivana wants to chase me, okay, I would just do her damages when my Q is up, I don't need more. She doesn't have W anymore because she wasted it, and I would just fight her when Q is up. Look, Q, W to regen, and Q. Just Q, Hydra to regen, look, Hydra, Q, it's enough, because, why, because I was just running, if she would have auto-shotted me, I would have been dead, and I don't know if I used Hydra, it, 
I was sure to use it, maybe not, I did not have time, I don't know. But uh, what I did, it's just kiting. And as long as she can't um, hit me, because I, ha I have Triforce that gave me some move speed and that gave me enough move speed to kite her. And with the kiting, I just fucked her when I had my CD. I mean QCD and WCD. Okay, so if you have some questions, just ask in commentary and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!